we will learn in this video how to make a Vilar voltage multiplier using only diodes and capacitors. The Vilar multiplier consists of two diodes and two capacitors connected as shown. If the input voltage is U, we will get at the output of the multiplier a voltage 2U, or twice the original input voltage. The capacitors must be placed with the positive terminal to the right and the negative to the left. You can also use non-polarized capacitors. The advantage of this kind of multiplier is that you can take another stage of two diodes and two capacitors and simply connect it to the first stage. Actually, you can put as many stages as you want. In the example of the figure, we have a multiplier of five stages. Therefore, the input voltage will be multiplied 10 times. In reality, the multiplier has a voltage loss that is given by this formula. F is the frequency of the input voltage, C is the capacitance of the capacitors, and N is the number of stages. If you want to reduce the voltage loss, you have to increase the frequency or use larger capacitors or both. It is important to mention that every diode and capacitor should be able to withstand a voltage of at least twice the input voltage. Here we have the schematic of one stage of the voltage multiplier and here we have the real one. You can see the direction of the diodes and also the polarity of the capacitors, negative to the left. Here we have our multiplier connected to this 6 volt transformer. The AC input of the multiplier are these two points and the DC output is here, this is ground and positive. And we are powering this lamp with our multiplier. I will apply power to the transformer and check the voltage in the lamp's terminals. In theory, we should get 12 volts from the multiplier. Let me see. We get 10.3 volts. And this is because we have a voltage drop that was mentioned before. The larger the current that we require from the multiplier, the larger the voltage drop. If we check with another lamp, this lamp, for example, requires more current to work. Let me see what voltage do we get. With this lamp, we only obtain 8.8 .8 volts, a larger voltage drop. This is a 10 stage multiplier and therefore we should get a voltage multiplication of 20. This little power supply outputs 500 volts AC. Therefore in theory we should be getting 10,000 volts in the output of the multiplier. Let's check. I will use this high voltage probe to check the output. and we get about 7,000 volts instead of the 10,000 volts. Therefore, we are, we are getting 3,000 volts of voltage drop. Just for fun, let me show you the arc produced by this multiplier. 